you right now. We are looking at a chase that is taking place right now. This is a uh, chopper four over the scene of this, and we don't know how long this chase has been occurring. It doesn't seem to be clearly a high speed chase at the moment, um, and no other cars seem to be involved, uh, but also get some more information on exactly where this yeah, is. Yeah, this is all happening, uh, or it was along uh, North Miami Avenue, close to Northwest 79th Street there. Um, you can see he is just weaving through, he or she weaving through traffic here at this point, uh, rolling right through some of these intersections. So right now, what well, we obviously want to find out um, what prompted this chase. Where is this vehicle out of? Where did this all start? But well, now we know this is moving through portions of Miami Dade. Uh, it producer you can uh, keep me posted on where we're getting a good look of where this is happening now. Still on North Miami Avenue, we are told. Uh, looks like they're approaching I-95 there. Okay, looks like he's turning onto one of those on-ramps. I'm actually going to pull up the flight radar as we speak to get a better look at where our chopper is uh, to give us some perspective there. But you can see police following very closely. Yeah. And stick with us as that uh, signal might cut out, cut in and out here just a little right bit. Right now, we're just looking at one uh, police officer uh, that is is in this chase right now and like you're saying it's it's right on the side ramp uh, so we'll see if he does get on the freeway there but yep. at portions you saw how close he got to other vehicles there so at this point no other collisions involved in this um, and it's you know going in different speeds I'm, I'm being told right now it's 62nd Street and I-95 yeah he just um, turned on to 62nd he's now heading what he or she heading westbound now looping back south and this is part of the roads there that kind of just wrap around I-95. You've got a lot of on and off ramps. Okay, he's hopping on go. 95 now southbound. This is in the southbound direction here. The problem for this driver, you've been seeing how fast he's been going. He's going to meet a lot of slow mm -hmm. traffic out there this morning because it is very slow. Terry's been telling you south of the Golden Glades, it is slow rolling. It's 637 now. We're just getting into the rush. Yeah, as we've been telling you, this is 95 southbound and as, as you know, Austin just alerted us to it and we see every morning it gets really backed up. So so uh, we'll see what this uh, entails as he continues to stay on the freeway or if he gets off on uh, off a ramp and, and gets on the side streets there. But and we're approaching Airport Expressway right now. You just saw that ramp there. So he's staying on the right side. We could see that driver take that off ramp. That would take you onto the Airport Expressway. You see it there. Two options, east or westbound. Eastbound 195, that's going to wrap you onto the Julia Tuttle. Get you over to Miami Beach. Westbound would be uh, into the Arlington Heights area onto the Air Airport Expressway 112 westbound closer to MIA. But as I mentioned, you're seeing the slower traffic and he's having to weave around this trying to clearly evade police. But it's going to be a tough time trying to do that because you've got a lot of slow traffic mm -hmm. rolling through this area. But still we're seeing that one cop there. What's interesting, though, is it's still a single officer in this chase. So uh, it'll it'll be, you know, I guess a few moments, minutes, perhaps even longer than that before we see other officers involved. Clearly Correct. they're headed to the scene, but it's one that continues to move as he's on. I-95 South. And he's taking yeah, 112 now westbound, mm -hmm. so he's going to be heading west. I'm looking at the flight radar, Betty, just seeing our uh, chopper over the area, not seeing Miami-Dade police in this area just yet, but they are certainly going to be tracking this clearly from the ground. Now the driver is going to have a lot uh, kind of clear traffic Yeah, he's picking here. up speed here. Yeah, lighter traffic. We usually see that westbound 112, 836 gets busy at this time, but 112 usually stays open around this time, so he's kind of got all the road there to speed up and really not having to do too much weaving as he's this driver is trying to get away from that officer. Which in a way is a little bit of a good sign, right? Because you don't want any of the other vehicles on the roadways to um, be involved in some kind of crash associated with this. But hopefully other officers will join in this chase and, and this thing will come to a close. What we do not know at this time is what prompted this. We do not know what this person is wanted for and we don't know what led to this police chase. Of course, that information will continue to occur, but it is picking up speed as you see. Uh, when and we it, first started, it was on the side streets and now he's really got kind of an open road and you're just having a tough time seeing him right now. Those are those Metro rail tracks. They're going to be approaching. There's the Arlington Heights station. There's uh, your transfer point between the orange and green line trains, and you can see we're closer to 112. Now you can see him there right 
just breezing through this area at this point and really climbing in speeds. This is dangerous not only for an interstate, but it, there really is uh, kind of a fear there because you've got a lot of traffic that may be closer to MIA. Mm. They're getting closer to Lejeune Road now. That's where 112 will loop to the south, and then there will likely be some slow traffic around MIA. So if you know someone hanging to the airport this morning, coming off 95, tell them they may want to stay from 112 right now because we do have an ongoing police chase. We can see one Miami-Dade police cruiser and this SUV that they are following right now, certainly keeping those high speeds as they continue to travel in the westbound direction. Again, we don't have a lot of details about what led to this, but just judging from watching this suspect maneuver, not only through the side streets, but now on um, you know, the freeway, it appears that this person does have a pretty good knowledge of the roadways yeah. around uh, the Miami area, right? Because it is just really maneuvering quite well, not only through traffic, but in, in this open stretch that you see right now. And this, this speed, uh, this police chase is picking up speed. Um, we're still waiting to see if other officers will get involved. Although it looks and like they're starting to slow down right now. He's about to hit some slow right traffic now. right when you get near Lejeune. Uh, this is where portions of 112 kind of loop away from each other and very close to MIA. So he, this driver, he or she, we don't know at this point. We're working to get those details. But again, you're going to be hitting pockets of slow traffic here. Now that can create a danger because clearly this driver wants to continue going and then they're trying to meander around and really taking some risks doing so right now. So he just moved uh, through this interchange here near 36th Street, right on the north side of MIA, heading southbound now. You're going to see portions of Miami International Airport and Chopper may have to keep their distance a bit because this is very close to the runways there at Miami International Airport. Mm. Um, so we may yeah, have to, right you can see there's the airport there. So we're still moving south. Chopper, again, maybe keeping their distance a bit. So brake lights coming on. These are going to be in your areas there near some of those ramps to get you to the departures level at MIA. So rolling southbound here. We're now on Lejeune. The driver is heading closer to 836 now in that southbound direction. So to the right of this SUV, that's the runways, that's MIA. And you're seeing some of the drivers there around the area. You're going to see a lot of airport shuttles and vehicles. All right, so it looks like uh, they took one of these ramps here now onto, I believe this would be 21st Street which actually takes you right into the airport here. So we're going to keep following. Yeah, that's going to yep. be interesting if he gets caught up in he airport is, traffic. Yeah. Where is this person going and with what intention here? Um, yep. It did appear that he knew the streets There you go. There. He's well. into the airport right yeah, now. You just saw the sign. And they've got the area here blocked. Here we go. We've got other officers that were there. We'll see if they'll take part in this chase here. Again, it's still a single officer yep. chasing this vehicle, which is surprising because it's been going on for uh, quite a while now. Uh, we've just been you know, watching it once yep. we got the chopper up to be able to see this from the air. But it's really an amazing vantage point of a, a police chase that has occurred, you know, during morning rush. Morning and that's not rush. something that we see very often. We don't. Very early for something like this to happen. And again, what makes things complicated is the amount of traffic. Um, I have never really seen this where the driver's actually gone into the airport. He's on those departure, the departure level right now. Take a look at all the drivers there. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of police there. So this is going to be interesting to see how they're going to try and if they try to corner this driver in because you've got Miami-Dade police and already a lot of the police that are stationed there at the airport. But take a look now. The driver almost looks like he's blending in with folks who are driving, dropping off or picking uh -oh. up passengers. Now he's going, going off on that left side. So what this area is going to do, these lanes, this kind of bypasses where folks pull off and allow people uh, to get out of the vehicle. So uh, we're going to see that here. I still see the vehicle. Just it, to the north there, you see the cop on that right-hand side yeah, of your screen. The, the top right. Well, yeah, they may have lost him a little bit, but I've still got an eye on him. Going in front of the building now, yeah. it appears. The That's thing close about to the this area, though, he could get slowed down uh, tremendously yes. due to airport traffic and, you know, the people making departures um, and picking up for arrivals. But it's so interesting that he would go into this area. So at one point you think he knows where he's going, but then if you're looking at a plan, if you're trying to get away, this is not the place no, to no, go. No. And not to endorse this at all, but a bad move to drive right into an area there. Looks okay, like he stopped. Look, now you have an officer have coming up trying to approach. You can see the driver's hands are up. Yeah. Officers approaching. Now he's Doors about opening. to get out of the vehicle. Oh, it hasn't oh, stopped yep, just yet. Rolling. I want to put that in park. Now another officer has arrived there. Yep, okay, they got him. They're about they to go. put him in handcuffs to the on the ground. 
The question is, though, what led to this? Um, what is this suspect accused of doing? And, and then why would you go through a high speed chase <laughs> through the streets of Miami during rush hour and then end up at the airport where you know there's going to be a lot of traffic? Um, clearly not a lot of forethought, but then that happens often when folks are in, in a police chase. Um, uh, but thankfully, this thing has come to a safe ending and the suspect does appear to be in police custody. We're going to be learning a lot more um, details on what prompted this, but it doesn't look like there is a fight at all. Um, he is. He, he looks is, like he cooperated yeah. and oftentimes with the police you mentioned, it looks like the driver knew where he was going, but oftentimes when we see these police chases, uh, they're just trying to get away. So they're taking any which way. They're trying to uh, sneak away from police or try to speed up, take a quick diversion. But in this case, you know, hopping on 112, you're basically heading to MIA and a lot of the ramps then just kind of lead you onto Lejeune and into the airport. And that appears to be what happened here. But now we do have a man that is appears to be in custody after this police chase that went right from Northwest Miami Dade down 95 onto the airport expressway and right to Miami And at times at high speed. So uh, very thankful that this didn't um, injure anyone else during the, the high speed chase at times and then any other vehicles were damaged in this. It appears that he is being taken into custody and uh, we'll get more information as to what prompted this. But um, there you go. It, to, 